Right, hello again Facebook and hopefully YouTube if this gets recorded this time and I'll put it up again there. Now it is, well it's not a sunny day here in Brookmans Park. Uh, hello, I am Chris Pickard, Director of Body and Balance in Brookmans Park and I'm shooting this video here today because recently I shot a video that I did primarily for a sales page uh, to well, to basically get more, pro more awareness and I did it for a, a weight loss sales page basically. But these are three tests that are really valuable for absolutely everybody. They're three very simple tests you can do right now. Hello Jackie. You can do them right now to see, well, pretty much how long you're going to live for. Uh, it's really, really, really quite simple. And I'm going to go through the details in this video. Um, and then I'm going to show you my my latest exercise routine that I really like doing a few times a day and why. Hello, Diane. So the first, the first test, okay, and this is much more useful than a cholesterol test or a blood pressure test. So the first test is basically how many times can you get into a chair and out of it? So it's basically, not that I need to demonstrate, okay, you can have a chair, basically sitting, getting down to, to chair level and coming up again. Okay, and you time yourself for one minute. Now, if you're a man, you want to be able to do this more than 23 times. And if you're a woman, you want to be able to do it more than 22 times. So if you cannot get into and out of a chair 22 to 23 times in a minute, then you increase your chance of basically not being here in 10 years time. I mean, it doubles. Whereas if you can do it more than 35 times for a woman or more than 37 times for a man, you double your chance of still being here in, th in 13 years. Or like, actually it's more than double your chance, it's actually almost guaranteed that you will probably be here. So this is for people in the age of, so about the age of 50 something. So if you're, if you're about 50, I think it was 57 year olds they did the test on. So if you're 57 and you can do these, fantastic. If you're younger than 57 and you can't do this test, well, that's really bad. Um, and if you're over 60 and you can do these tests, then fantastic. So that's the first test, sit to stand. The next test is to test to see whether you're, you've got an increased chance of basically vascular disease in the brain. So that's things like dementia and stroke. And are you watching really closely here? Okay. What you need to do is stand on one leg with your eyes open. And you should be able to stand with your eyes open on one leg for 20 seconds. And if it's less than 20 seconds, then there's a good chance that vascular damage is already happening or it's going to be happening very soon. Now, what you should be able to do though, because athletes, athletes should be able to do this, is stand with your eyes closed for 30 seconds with your arms by your side. So that's without having to cheat and wobble out here. So you should be able to do this for 30 seconds. And again, if you can do this with your eyes closed for 30 seconds, then that's fantastic. That's actually what you should be able to do. 30 seconds with your eyes closed. But the eyes open is the most important one at the moment. Okay. And do it on both legs because if you can't do this on both legs um, with your eyes open, with your eyes closed, it's a really good sign that you need to see a chiropractor or an osteopath or a functional neurologist, someone that's actually going to give you some exercises and try and find out what's happening and fix it. Okay. And when what's the third test? The third test you're going to need a tape measure for. And what you do is you measure your height and then you measure your waist around your belly button. And if your waist measurement is 80% or more of your height, then you will live 17 years less than someone whose waist is under 80% of their height. So you really, really want to change that. So it's not about weight. See, weight by itself is not that predictive. Neither is BMI. BMI is not very predictive either. It's waist to height ratio. So what you need to do is you need to start building muscle because that will get rid of this as well as eating properly as well. So those are three, three tests to do. And now I'm going to show you 
an exercise routine that I learned very recently, and it's for boosting something called nitric oxide in your body. Now, nitric oxide is really important for your brain. It's very important for energy production. It's very good for your immune system, very good for your heart. It's also very good for your libido as well. It's very, very important. It's good for your libido, but it decreases blood pressure. So why do you want nitric oxide? Because of all those things. And nitric oxide is released from your blood vessel walls and into your bloodstream when you do simple short bursts of activity, getting your whole system moving. Um, and there's a second reason why I think this particular series of exercises is really good. So are you watching carefully? I think I, I did this recently anyway, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay. What you do is you start with your arms at your front here, and then you squat down and you lift your arms up. Really simple. So you lift your arms up to shoulder height. So there you go. And you do 10 of these, 10 of these, very simple. And then you flap your arms up and down from waist to shoulder height, okay, with good posture. And you do that 10 times as well. And then arms at your side, pinch your shoulder blades together, and then you raise your arms up overhead. So you don't want to do this. You want to be able to bring your arms really overhead, okay? And you do this 10 times really quickly, and then arms by your sides, and you push up 10 times really quickly. No weights, okay? Do this with no weights at first. If you do have shoulder problems, see a chiropractor, osteopath, physiotherapist, etc. get the shoulder problems fixed, or just do the movements how you can. But what you will also find is that, and you repeat that four times. So you do 10 of each movement, repeat it four times, that's it. After two to three hours, your blood vessels will make more nitric dioxide and you can do it again. So if you keep doing this throughout the day, two or three times a day, you're gonna keep boosting nitric oxide, you're gonna keep your metabolism really ramped up. Now the other thing that I think it does is because you're moving this area so much, I think, I have no proof, it mobilizes your brown fat and your biggest brown fat stores are here. And brown fat, um, what does it do? It burns, uh, was it nine times more energy than muscle? It might be more, it's a lot more energy than muscle anyway, and certainly a lot more than fat. Um, but a really good way to activate your brown fat, cold showers. If you get this area here cold, your body's gonna think, oh my God, the brain's gonna freeze. So it starts activating brown fat and that means a lot of energy is burnt and you burn fat. So that's a really good set of exercises. And I'm gonna show you one other, one other top tip here now because so many people say, I don't have time to exercise. I'm gonna say, sure you can find three minutes. But let's say you're completely busy the whole day. I bet you still find time to brush your teeth so here's what you can do when you're brushing your teeth, as long as you've already got some good balance. And then I'm gonna show you what you can do if you haven't got good balance. Okay, so this is called neurobics. Okay, brushing your teeth, stand on one leg, simple. And if you've got an electric toothbrush, which has got a half minute timer, you stand on one leg for half a minute, then you swap. Okay, so you're using the other side of the brain. And then, so I do half a minute like that, and then at the end of the half a minute, I then, pull my leg up as well to give it a stretch. And then I bring the leg up to the side, clean your teeth, and then give it a stretch as well. And so this is really easy to do for me. And it also stimulates the brain because you're using the other half of the brain, you're using your non-dominant hand, increases connections between the brains, between the brains, between the hemispheres of the brain, and decreases your chances of stroke, while at the same time improving your balance. Don't try it with your eyes closed when you've got something in your mouth. Very silly to do. Now let's say you've got really poor balance, but you can move your arms and your legs a little bit. So what you can do while brushing your teeth is a really good stretch for a muscle called your psoas, and this is very good for your posture as well. And what you do is you put one foot in front of the other, and then what you do with well, if you're brushing your teeth, you're not gonna do this with both arms, okay? But what you do is you stretch up, okay? And you'll feel a stretch here, okay? And the idea is to get your body and your arms in line with your front leg and you feel the stretch down in here. And your psoas is a really important postural muscle, 
but it's very important to get it stretched. And also because so many people are like this the whole day, you wanna really stretch the arm up and stretch the body out. So what I recommend you can do, if you can't do any other exercises, is basically you stretch the arm up on the side that you're stretching, so it's the back leg, and you brush. And then you swap, and you brush. You also tone your abs slightly as well. So really, really simple. There's no excuse not to do some form of exercise and to start getting your body on shape, in shape in a, on a regular, regular basis. So I hope you found that all helpful. If you know people with problems with balance, please share this with them. If you know people who are overweight, please share it with them because there's lots and lots that we can do to help them further. That's ring body and balance. 01707 662 704. We can help you lose weight, gain your balance back, and just live a long and really healthy life. Live long and prosper, everyone.